so glad to meet you guys and um, so terribly sorry for the circumstance. Thank you. I want to focus on Shannon and Bella and Celeste and Nico and all of y'all. You've been told what that confession contained, right? Yes. And um, there was information in there that had to do with Shannon, correct? Mm -hmm. There's so much in there that you hated to hear, right? When she had come home, there was a little bit of an argument. Um, they went away. They supposedly were intimate. Um, they went to sleep. He got up for work at 4 or 4.30. And the argument, I guess, started all over again. Her saying that, you know, she knows she was, he was cheating on her to the effect of uh, he would never see his kids again. And with that, he jumped on her and he strangled her and said he couldn't take his hands off her because he felt like something was holding him there. I told her I didn't love her anymore. That's what happened. What happened? She told me to get off her and then I put my hand on her. Okay. Why did you get on her like that? That's just where I got on. Is that so she would listen to you? I felt like she could probably listen to me just laying beside her, but I got on top of her. Mm -hmm. And every time I think about it, I'm just like, did I know I was going to do that before I got on top of her? I don't know. Really? That's an interesting thought, Chris. Mm -hmm. You don't know if you knew. I, I try to go back in my head. I'm just like, I didn't want to do this, but I did it. Did you look at her? What was she doing? She was fighting. Our daughter watched her husband kill her. I mean, um, while I was rapping her. And with that time, Bella walked in the room and asked him what was going on with mommy, and he said she was sick, we gotta take her to the doctors. So what happened, Bella came in. What'd she say? Oh, mommy. Did she hear something? Is that what she came Obviously, in? I think. Okay. What'd you tell me? Mommy don't feel good. Did you take her back to her room? Put Shannon in that sheet and you found it's like, okay. Then what? So, carried her downstairs, back my truck up. So you put Shannon in the truck and then you put the two girls in the truck? Were they just sitting in their car seats or, or I guess they didn't probably have car no, seats in your no, truck, did no, they? No, they were sitting in the back with the, like in that, that bench sheet. So Shanann was back there too? Is she was on the floor. What did they say about Shanann being on the floor? Mommy, okay. What'd you tell them? She'll be fine. He put her in a truck, put the two children in a truck, drove himself his 45 minutes, whatever it took him to get to the well site. And they were sleeping on and off on their way. Took Shannon out of the truck, put her down. Once we're done doing that, he came back to the truck, took Celeste's Yankee blanket, and smothered her. In front of Bella. Took her up to the well, dropped her in, and then he came back to the truck and Bella had said to her father that you're not gonna do that to me what you did to Cece, are you, Daddy? Bella was still in the back of the truck alive. Okay, tell me what happened there. She said what happened to Cece. For her chest, it was, it was the same thing, it was the exact same thing that happened to me as Cece. Did she ask you that? Okay, so Bella's pretty smart. I don't remember what I said. Okay. I don't know if I just said yes, like a horrible person, or if I just, Put, this, put that blanket over her too and did the same thing. Same blanket, same way? Mm -hmm. Okay. She said, no, daddy. And that's the last thing she said. And then he took her life. And that's why she fought and had the cuts and did Yeah, well, tongue. she fought back to him. She knew what was happening. I know it's worse than we even thought. We thought but the worst was what we heard already. You know, we had no idea it was way worse than this, you know? We were hoping it would happen in our sleep or something. Not you that know? a four-year-old watches her sister get killed. I'm so very, very sorry.